All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles of the Great Millstone. And it should say, Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and sincerity. We're we'll going on this topic of, um, you know, what it takes to be spiritual. You know, what it, what, why, why being spiritual is important, you know. Um, I'm going to start off with the scripture, John 4 and 23. But the hour cometh. And now is when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Right? It says in spirit, you know. Being spiritual is very, very important, you know, in this 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 truth, man. You know. Like, first off, when you're when you're spiritual, you know, the things of this world really, you know, don't really mean as much, you know, like as far as like uh, the the clothes that you wear, you know, your your material objects and stuff like that. Even this life, you know, because the the when you worship the the Father and the Spirit and the truth, you know that the Father is the one who actually gives you life, you know. So when you're spiritual, you you have that understanding of everything, you know, as far as what 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 life is concerned you know because the father created everything you know so you realize like you're not going to get uh bent up out of shape that somebody doesn't get it you know get the truth because it's not for them you know it's that's a spiritual thing you know being spiritual also means that you know who the who the wicked is you know whether it's esau or or, or israel you know what, why our people are in the predicament that they're in today, you know, as far as like being under the so-called white man, why they walking around acting like heathens, you know, the scriptures give you all of that information, but you have to first be spiritual in order to get that information, you know, because these churches, you know, they go into the stories and stuff like that, but these people are carnal in the churches, you know. To worship the Father, you got to worship in the Spirit, you know? And that's not just going into uh, being a weakened Israelite, you know? Or how these church people go into these churches and, and catch the Holy Spirit. And then, you know, after they leave, it's, it's nothing, you know? Like, they, they back to that same wickedness, you know? But being in the Spirit is actually important. It says, for the Father seeketh such to worship him. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Yeah, yeah, and what one of the truths, man, is is the name, man. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. That's a, that's spiritual, man. You know, nobody can't call on the Father, man, but by the Spirit, man. You know, you call on that name. This is First John four and six. We are of the Most High, right? Which is Yahweh. It says, "He he that knoweth uh, the Most High hears hears us. He that is not of the Most High hears not us." You know, and when you're spiritual and you 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 read into the Scripture, you know, to get all that that meat off the bone, you know, as the apostles say, you know, it says, "He that knows the Most High." Here's us, you know, who knows the most high, you know, Israel knows the most high, you know, how do you, how do I know that from being spiritual? You know, the spirit reveals those secrets, man, you know, um, but, but more importantly, who knows the most high right now? You know, the elect, you know, the hopeful elect, you know, the 144,000, those are the, those are the ones who, who knows the most high. It says, he that is not of the Most High, hears not us, right? These these heathens, whether it's Esau or, or Moab, the so-called white man, or Chinese, or, you know, any, any other nation that isn't of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, they don't, don't, these heathens, man, that aren't of Israel, they don't hear the Most High, you know? So... When you look at this and you go into the Cornelius issue, Cornelius was an Israelite, man. 
You know? Otherwise, Cornelius would not have heard the Most High, man. You know, because the heathens are not of the Most High, right? And I'm going to prove that. It says, hereby know, hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. And the, the a spirit of error, man, is saying that Cornelius is a, um, a, a Edomite, you know, or any other nation that isn't of Israel, you know. Now, I, I went into the precepts, man, to, to try to check and see what who, who are of the most high, right? What, what we are of God, right? Now, when you go into the we are, uh, we are, right here, it says Micah 3 and 8, right? Now, this scripture is talking about the heads of Jacob, right? Um, and, and I, and I said, it's Micah 3 and 1, and I said, here I pray you, O heads of Jacob, and ye princes of of the house of Israel is is it not for you to know judgment? You know the Lord in the kingdom, he, the, the 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 Israelites, man, they're going to be the the kings and the priests, man. But more importantly, this scripture right here, Micah three and eight. But truly, I am full of power by the Spirit of the Lord and of judgment. And of might to declare unto Jacob his transgression and to Israel his sin. You know? So the spirit of the Lord, man, is the one who tells Jacob his transgression and his sins, man. You know? The the, the spirit of the Lord is the one who's tell who tells um Esau that that Esau is going into captivity, man. That America is going to be destroyed, man, because America is spiritually known as Babylon the Great, right? And and you don't see anybody else out here getting on Esau, you know, knowing it, that that Esau is uh, the so-called white man, you know what I'm saying, according to the scriptures, but the the elect man, you know, the ones who, who by the spirit of the Lord, you know, is, is discerning that judgment, man. But more importantly, this scripture is talking about Jacob and Israel, man. You know, the the the, the house of Jacob. Well, the, Jacob and Israel are, are are the same, you know. But the house of Jacob, man, is the ones who 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 is who has that chance to be saved, you know. Not no heathen. Um, the house of the house of of Jacob is the ones that's going off, man. You know. There's the one who's transgressing, man, who's transgressing against the Lord. You know, they're, they're not being spiritual. They're being carnal, following after the ways of the heathen, right? 1 Corinthians 2 and 14. But the natural man, the, the carnal man, these, these guys that, that you know, don't, don't see that Cornelius is an Israelite or, or that Israel can look like any other nation, it says, but the natural man receives not the things of the mo of the spirit of the most high right now this scripture right here micah 3 and 1 it says o o heads of jacob and ye princes of the house of israel is it not for you to know the to know judgment it says the natural man receives not the things of the spirit of the most high for they are foolishness unto him you know the, the 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 these other camps, man. You know, like I U I C I C B K. You know, like all the wickedness that that goes along with them. I'm, they, that's just the name some camps, you know, because there's a lot of other camps out here. It says they are foolishness unto him. You know, any guy that that that's carnal, that's not being spiritual towards Yahweh by some Yahshua. Whenever you say something, man, it's all foolishness. Like like the 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 the, the law that, that speaks against rape, you know, or speak on rape, you know what I should say. It says neither can he know them. You know, it's spiritual that, that the Lord put that block up to these people. You know why? Because they are spiritually discerned, you know. These guys, you know, they they lack that judgment because it's spiritually discerned, man, you know. It's it they they're carnal. And this is a spiritual thing, man. You know, being in this truth, you know, 
you got to be spiritual. You can't be carnal and in the truth. It's, it's impossible. It's, it says Romans 8 and 7. But the carnal mind is enmity against God. Right? Now, let me look up this word car, uh, carnal. I mean, uh, enmity. Right? It says hostile feeling, rivalry, malice, internal conflict, conflict, you know, and that's basically what these guys are, man. The scripture says that if you're not for for the Lord, man, you 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 you're against them, you know. He that is not with me is against me, and scatter for broad, man. And that's what these guys are doing, man. They're scattering the flock, man. Uh, to to say that you're not uh you. Just because your skin is a certain way, you know, you 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 can't be an Israelite. You're scattering the flock, man. You know, and and the Lord, you you against the Lord, man. When you do that, man, because Israel is gonna come in in many different uh, skin colors, you know, shapes and sizes, man. It says, for it is not subject to the law of the Most High, neither indeed can be, you know. And if you if you carnal. You know, like I said, you're going up against the Lord, man. And this scripture right here explains it. Who who you actually are with, man. It's, it says, Ephesians 6 and 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. You know, it's not, a, it's not about what your skin color is, you know. It says, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world. Right, the the elite man, you know, the 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 ones who Satan is working through. Right, it says against spiritual wickedness in high places, you know, and and when you look into the spiritual wickedness of Israel in high places, you got guys like like Nate, you know, uh, Yohanna, you know, and other other guys that fall along. Bubble Eye Blackfish from GOCC, you know. These guys are spiritually wicked, man. You know? And 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 like I said, they they, they going against the Lord, man. And, and, and to be spiritual, you understand that the end of those people, man, if they, they consider their latter end, man, it, it, it ain't going to look good, man. You know? And with that, man, that's, that that's pretty much sums up my lesson, man. You know? But I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to y'all by some y'all side. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. And it's a shit, Salawam, to the Akim out here that's doing it, pushing the work in truth and sincerity. Salawam.